Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. So many of y'all have asked me to check out Brandon Tantrum's video on Sonia Messi. And I finally got around to checking it out. Now I did a live stream of it. I'm gonna edit it and put it up so you guys can see the reaction to that. It, 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 it's what we have to understand. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, <laughs> I'm flustered because I just saw the video. I'm just like, this is, this is unbelievable. But what we have to understand, there's, there's a fine line between the Sambo-ness that is Tatum and Kundis Owens and people like him. And there's a fine line between that's just how an officer thinks. Now, I want to remind everyone, for all you Negroes who want to be talking about the election, there is only one candidate on the docket that is supporting immunity from prosecution for officers. And that candidate's name is Donald J. Trump, okay? So for all you all want to talk about uh, Kamala Harris and everything, there is one individual who is promoting immunity from prosecution for situations like this, and that is Donald Trump, just so we're clear. I saw Tantrum's uh, Sambo talk about what happened. And a lot of this has to do with him being, as far as self-hatred, but him also being an officer. So what, thing, what you have to be aware of is how he talks. He talks from a position of trying to protect the officer. That's how he talks. In him covering the video, he talks about, well, he has an issue with how the officer articulated what he articulated. Do I agree with the way he articulated what he said? No, I don't like when officers talk like that. Listen, first and foremost, the issue is not what the officer articulated. The issue is not the words of the officer. The issue is the officer's actions. Upon her, who clearly is in fear, they want to talk about she had mental health issues, albeit She's in fear. She says, hey, I rebuke you in the, nine, in the name of Jesus. Now, what type of person, what type of individual, aside from a demon, would respond with you better not or I'll effing shoot you in the head? Hmm? You tell me. The issue is not what he said. The issue is him pulling his gun. Okay? That's the issue. Not what he said. Well, I have an issue with how he articulated it because that's not professionalism. What? Professionalism? I don't care what they say. I care what they do. We're not being killed by words. <laughs> what are you talking about? Our ancestors weren't being hung by trees by words. What are you talking about? This is what I'm talking about. He's talking from a cop. Well, I wouldn't have said that. He never once criticized him pulling his firearm. He criticized what he said. Just so we are aware of the foolishness and the sambo-ness and the cop Blue Lives Matter-ness that, that is this man Tatum. Maybe now we do, but at the time this woman is crazy and she's now manipulating this pot. How do we know she don't have acid in this pot or something even more dangerous? What? If I feel my life is in danger, I have every right to defend myself. When it comes to pulling a firearm unjustifiably on a woman who has shown to be no threat no hostility, nothing. And then you want to complain? You want to complain why she would as far as have water to defend herself from someone pulling a firearm on her? What are we talking about? And then he goes on to say, well, he messed up. He's a rookie cop because every rookie cop knows that you have to go and get a kit. Even, even if you have to play house, you have to get a kit. Experienced officer knows it don't matter if it's a headshot or not. You go get the kit and you play house or whatever you gotta do, because you need to be showing every effort possible that you're trying to save this woman's life. Listen to how he's talking. He's not talking about this is a black woman, this is a life, right? He's, he's just simply saying, well, you should have done it because now it looks like, you, you, now, now you may be in trouble because you didn't do it. He's talking about it like an officer, like didn't follow protocol, not because the officer just took an innocent life. He's saying this from a right up position. Think about that. Every, every officer knows that even if the person is dead, you go and get a kit just for, you know, for entertainment purposes. That's what they're saying. So you have to understand that these demons do these things so they can be justified in court. Not because they care about the person they just cold-bloodedly murdered. No, they do this so they can say, well, I did, I did try to save her life. I did try to save her, save her life. I did. You saw me put the kit and apply pressure. These are demons. These are wicked individuals. And if black people can wise up 
we can understand what we're dealing with because I understand a lot of these Negroes, whether it's YouTubians, whether it's our politicians, whether it's, you know, the Twitter spaces, they constantly want to scream about white supremacy. White supremacy this. We in a war of white supremacy. But when it comes down to it, when we have individuals like this, when we have held the person who took Tamir Rice's life, when we have these individuals, nothing is done. Now, I don't know if you know how war works, but that's not how war works. So you're talking out of both sides of your mouth because your actions are not justifying your words. So th there has to, that has to be, that has to be an analyzed. That has to be addressed ASAP, pronto. Then he goes on to say that this is a justified shooting. Uh, according to the law, this is justified use of deadly force. What does that tell you about the law? That it needs to be changed. That when it comes to the George Floyd Policing Act, that needs to go and be passed. We need to get a Democrat uh, uh, House and we need to get a Democrat Senate and have Kamala Harris sign that ASAP, pronto, and remove qualified immunity from these officers. Because I guarantee the moment, moment in time that gets removed, the moment in time we target their pensions, their money, they will think twice. We won't have a Breonna Taylor. We won't have a George Floyd. We won't have a Tamir Rice. We won't have a, a Elijah McClain. The list goes on. The laws that shield these demons have got to go. Someone talking like this, talking about it's justified by the law, is justified by the law. What does that tell you? That tells you that they're gone, that their mind is gone. The way he's talking about this, this is just a piece of meat, like it's an animal. Like it's an animal. That's how they've been trained to view us. So I, I, I don't expect anything out of people like Brandon Tantrum. I don't expect anything from people like Kundas Owens. I don't expect anything from them, okay? I expect nothing but the worst of them because they are just wicked, demonic, possessed people. That's what they are at the crux of it. They are demon possessed and I look to see them and laugh at them in the pits of fire, okay, in hell. That's what I expect of them. Nothing more, everything less, everything less. Anyways, guys, that's the video. There's nothing really to talk about. Um, uh, uh, you know, Sambos are gonna Sambo, you know, uh, uh, crackers are gonna crack. It just is what it is. That's, that's to be expected at this point in time. What's not to be expected is what are we going to do about it if we are going to do something about it. That's what needs to be addressed. Not the foolishness. We already know wicked and evil is going to exist. But it can only as far as to take over if we do nothing about it. That's the only way. We have at least got to give it a fight. So um, if you happen to disagree, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days. Friday through Sunday, a number will be on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing.